Hello, hello, party people. This is Summer. I'm here to lead you through 45 minutes of Power Sculpt. Uh, you'll need a set of weights, props that weigh something, and a good attitude. That's hard to come by sometimes these days. Uh, but I would remind you that a good attitude goes a long way. So grab your weights, come onto your mat, click play on your playlist somewhere clickable nearby. Downward facing dog, please. Pressure the L shape of your hands. Melt your shoulders down your back. Sink your heels towards your mat. And as you begin to breathe, pedal through your feet. Find any movements that feel good. Maybe you come in and out of high plank. Keep breathing. And as we think about our perspective, I'm noticing in my own practice and in my own life, uh, repetitive complaining just seems to generate more things to complain about. Whereas instead, I'm shifting my focus to repeated gratitude. Because repeated gratitude, hopefully then, will generate more things for me to be grateful for, yeah? So I offer you this for your practice for these next 45 minutes. Just try it on, see where it serves you, see where it doesn't. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Take your feet out, hip distance, maybe mat distance. Find right tail pose. I love the option to find my hand to my opposite bicep. Maybe you sway side to side. Either way, bend a lot through your knees here. Big breath in. Exhale, sink deeper. Point the crown of your head towards your mat. Allow your hamstrings to open. Stay for another big breath in. Exhale, release your hands to your mat. Inhale your right arm high, ragdoll with a twist. Keep breathing. Bend a lot through your left knee. Now square your hips towards your mat. Instead, roll your top shoulder back as you twist through your waist. Maybe you find some shoulder circles, wrist rolls. Inhale, reach up one more inch. Exhale, release your right hand down. Inhale, your left arm high, ragdoll with a twist. Same idea, same idea. Bend through your opposite knee. Looking. I got headphones in. They might fly out of my ears at any moment. I haven't had my coffee yet. It's kind of early in the studio. People are showing up. So I had to like let them know like I'm filming an online class. So if you see me in a room screaming by myself, I have not in fact lost it. <laughs> but I'm working on my perspective to ensure that it doesn't happen. Good things, good things. Big breath in. Exhale, release your hands down. Heel toe your feet together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, mini back bend. So in this mini back bend, stay and breathe. Tuck your tailbone under, engage through your lower belly. As you cactus your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together, shine your chest forward. If you can't still breathe here, you've gone too far. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach all the way up. Glide your shoulders down your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, please. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Okay, okay, your first one. Lower to a mid plank. So bend your elbows 90 degrees only. From here, inhale, upward facing dog. Press the tops of your feet into your mat. Press up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Use the strength of your belly first. And then go back. You've got it. Pedal through your feet. You have a little more opening through your shoulders. You've already been here. Inhale, bend your knees. Look forward. Exhale, trap to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Breathe here. Press all of your body weight into your heels. See and wiggle all ten toes. 
tuck your tailbone under, engage through your lower abdominals. So what I'm saying, friends, is no cheer with your butt, right? Make it go away. I know it's like the opposite of what we want in life, but just for here, just for here. Now again, shoulders down your back, squeeze them together, flare through your lats by pressing your shoulder blades down. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, airplane arms. Breathe here. Extend your arms above your hips. Face your palms together. Now pinch them in and lock out your triceps. Exhale. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Oh, I'm not doing it. You got it. You got it. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. This is coffee. Yeah, I promise it's coffee. It's not like anything harder. <laughs> We're all waking up. We're all waking up physically, mentally, emotionally. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe here. Stack your right knee directly over your left. So perpendicular your shin to your mat. 90 degrees between. Parallel your front hamstring with your mat. Squeeze your back hamstring towards the ceiling. Now pull your belly up. Exhale. Inhale, crescent lunge. Breathe here. Bend your back knee towards your mat to help square your hips forward. Roll your shoulders down your back. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe here. Spiral your back foot towards the back of your mat. Now press through the knife edge of your foot. Sink low in your front knee, 90 degree bend. And stack your shoulders up over your hips. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, reverse. Keep breathing. Lengthen through both sides of your body before you lean back. Exhale, chatter on the windmill down. High plank. You got it. A little slow. A little slow this morning. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Maybe in downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Same thing, you guys. Bend your front knee 90 degrees. Sink your hips low. Roll your back heel up over your toes. Pull your chest up off your quad. Exhale. Inhale, crescent lunge. Reach up. Maintain the lunge in your lower body. Again, option to bend your knees slightly towards your mat. Or not so slightly, as much as you need. Stay for a big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Parallel your back foot to the back of your mat. Now straighten and strengthen your back leg. Hug your muscles to your bone. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, reverse. Reach, reach, reach. And then lean. Exhale, chaturanga. We're doing 5,000. 5,000 chaturangas. Maybe just shy. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bend your knees. Look forward. Exhale, travel there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. You got it, you got it. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Stay here, breathe, pedal, catch your breath. We'll be moving a little bit. With the weights, do not use them on a halfway lift with your props. After reverse warrior, before chaturanga, pull them through your heart center, pivot and plant them at the top of your mat. I'll remind you, big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, no weights. Exhale, fold, grab your dumbbells. Inhale, chair pose, squat down, squat down. Tuck your tailbone under. 
You've got alternate step outs. Press your weights at heart center. Step to the right, center. To the left, center. To the right, center. To the left, stay low. You will not straighten your legs. You will not straighten your legs. What are we not gonna do? You said it, friends. You may have been coerced. All right, gang. As you step to the side, step out wide. Open through your hips. Open your knees out to the side. You get so much booty and hamstring love. Now, as you step through the middle, through chair pose, it's a narrow squat, so it's all quads. We hit our biggest muscles, all of them, right off the bat. Keep pressing your weight to in a heart center. We'll get there. We'll get there. Remember a million chaturangas? Yeah. You're not in a hurry for that. Keep going. Yes, it's cardio. Yes, you're moving because you're moving your big muscles and you're going quick. It's a quick pace. Come on. A few more. You get to add a shoulder press in three, two, last one, lower, press it up, side, press, side, press. This is side to side thruster. This time you get to stand up in the middle. Squeeze it up. Elbow, knee, squeeze it up. Elbow, knee, squeeze it up. Elbow, knee, squeeze it up. Your depth comes from your lower body. Through your upper body, I recommend an Arnold press. Turn your palms to face you at the bottom. Touch your elbows to your knees. As you stand, rotate your palms forward. So you're gonna rotate through your entire shoulder, get that much more love, more efficiency. Keep on going. Bigger, 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 get them up. Clench your glutes to stand, drive them forward. Five more seconds, your heart rate should be up. Last three, get a chill. In two, last one, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms, tricep kickbacks, catch your breath. Inhale, lower, exhale, kick back, lower. Press it back, lower, press it back. Pull your elbows above your rib cage. Cool them there. You bend your elbows 90 degrees only. Allow your knuckles to point towards the ground and bend behind you. Squeeze through the back of your arms. I don't want any of this. No, no swinging, no momentum, no biceps. Just your triceps. Burn them out. You gotta catch your breath. This is a break, this is a break. But we're still in our flow, come on. Lower in your chair. Dig through your heels, wiggle your toes. There it is. Can you tuck under? Are you like being a cheerleader right now? Go cowboy, go cowboy instead. <laughs> we'll get there, we'll get there. All right, gang. Let's talk about perspective while you're in this hot mess moment. Triceps, not a huge muscle. They don't need a lot to fatigue. They also don't need a lot of resistance because of that. So if you need to drop your props, do it. If you can't get your hands above your hips, if you can't lock out above your hips, you don't need the props, you are there. You've got enough work, you've got enough resistance. Now it's time to burn. Just squeeze everything your mama gave you. Yeah, tight, I wanna see it shake. Go to that shake point. Put your lean face on, yeah. Ego, our ego wants us to hold on to the heavy things and do them a million times. No, that's not helping your body. That's not giving you the results you want. Stick to the path, the things that work. What works is building sensation in your body. Maybe mean mugging me a little bit. Yeah, get that out, get that out. Now sink lower in your chair, kick it back for five. Last three, two, exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, high plank. You've got burpees. I want the push up. I want the push up. Come on, lower down, explode up, lower down. Explode up. Maybe you take a competition burpee. Maybe you drop to your belly. Maybe this is a lot to ask of you right now, but I want to see change for you. Change, you want to see it, you have to feel it first. It doesn't come for free. So you have to push, my friends. Now, if you're looking to feel sluggish, guess what you find? If you're looking for challenge, if you're looking for this to be hard, you'll get exactly what you're looking for. Instead, choose to feel strong here. There it is, yes I can, yes I will, get it. Higher, faster, point your toes, come on, come on, like you mean it. Big cardio, you get a break from it for like a hot second after this. Hot minute, a while, a few variations at least, yeah, yeah. Get it up, get it up, last eight. 
Everything you have, four, five, three, inhale, high plank. Hold here a hot second. Let this shake happen. Feel how freaking strong you are. Hollow through your armpits, don't through your back. So good. Big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Woo, friends. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Grab your dumbbells, stilts only, rocking horse. Place your dumbbells on your mat. I want your fingertips only. Sink into your lunge, pull your belly up. Tap your knee, standing splits. Tap, launch, tap, launch. Tap your knee, get through your heel, lower. Lift, inhale, down, exhale, up. You've got it. Your right butt cheek, your right hamstring should be turning on, lighting up. Stay low. All right, gang, when I'm talking about your dumbbells, get your palms off your props. As soon as your palms touch your props, you are dumping your upper body weight into them. You're sacrificing your shoulders. You're sacrificing your form. And believe it or not, you're putting unnecessary pressure onto this leg. It's already your working leg. It's already on fire. You don't need more than that. Use the strength of your core to lift up. Dig your weight through your heels. Your body weight is in your heels. Lift your toes, curl them. Mm -hmm. It's getting juicy. We don't run from it. You don't run as soon as it gets uncomfortable. This is where the sweet spot is. This is where the magic happens. Lean in. When you cannot do one more, commit to two. And then you do your two. Like, lady, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have another one to me. Commit to two. Keep committing to two until you no longer can. That's how we move forward. That's how we get stronger. Keep on pushing. Five more seconds. Last three. Two. Exhale, low lunge. Low lunge, grab your dumbbells. Single leg deadlift, upright row. Tap your weights. Pull them up. Tap them down. Pull them up. Tap. Pull. So we're not quite at our crescent lunge. We're not quite all the way there. Hinge forward, 45 degrees. Tap. Upright row. Inhale, tap. Exhale, pull. You've got it. Inhale, tap. Exhale, pull. Notice how I'm still hinging forward to keep the work into my burning, burning, burning hamstring. My glute, my quad is now pissed off equally as much. But staying here, I'm not sacrificing my lower back to come all the way up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stay low. It is supposed to feel like this. This is temporary. This is a short blip in your day. You can do this. Your limits are where you place them. They're not real. So if you're placing your limit here, you can just easily take it away. Yeah, look at you go. See what you were holding back. So strong. Give me five more. Yes, you can. Three more. Last two. Last one. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Warrior two. Micro bend through your elbows. W bicep curl. Your elbows in. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lower. Flex your guts. Lower down. Flex. Lower with control. Squeeze your bicep. Stretch it out. Squeeze your bicep. Stretch it out, sink lower, sink lower, sink lower. Parallel your hamstring with your mat. So good. All right, gang, I said it before. You can swing soup cans, soda bottles, dumbbells, light ones all day long. We don't have all day. You have to pinch your muscles. You have to squeeze your guts. It's the thing, it's the thing. At some point, these dumbbells feel so much heavier than they actually are. Because you are creating that connection. You are creating that sensation by flexing. Push as much blood into your muscles as you can and then slowly release. It's slow and control. It's all about the flex, the weights, your elbows. That stuff just comes along. Sink a little lower, please. Yeah, we're still in it. We're still in it. Five. You don't get hours. No adding of the legs. Three. Two. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose, yes. Exhale, horse pose, heels in, toes out. You've got servers, I want a three part server, take it slow. First, lift your right heel up, your front heel. Exhale, pull it back. Inhale to move, exhale, press. Inhale to move, 
Exhale, pull. Inhale to move. Exhale on the press. Inhale, move. Pull. Move. Press. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Squeeze your chest. You've got it. Lift this heel as high as you can, like your highest high heels. Before they were like a huge hazard in your life, right? They always were. They always were. We're willing to sacrifice things at that age, right? Come on. Dudes, you're not off the hook. Nobody said you couldn't wear high heels. Platforms. A little height? No. Squeeze it up and in. Pull your calf up higher. Yeah, do you feel that? Like that cramp start to happen? Now it's engaged. So you're in your calf out of the arch of your foot. You got it. You got it. On the push and pull with the server, you guys. It's no coincidence. This is a bicep extension. You were just in your bicep. So you should be feeling it in your arms. However, as you pull back, pull with your shoulder blades first. So I'm squeezing my shoulder blades before my elbows ever move. Then squeeze the back. As you press forward, broaden through your back. Squeeze your chest. When I say squeeze your chest, I mean give yourself as much cleavage as you can. All genders. All genders. Cleavage, friends. Everybody loves cleavage. Even babies. Usually people are wooing right now. Yeah, it's a thing. Pinch it together. Pull it back. Pinch it. Pull. Yes. Sink lower. I know because we all begin to stand up. It's what happens. Our body will automatically try to make ourselves more comfortable. It's like, ooh, ooh, fight or flight, right? This is flight happening. You fight your way back down. Few more. Last five. Pulse the back in three, two, pulse it back. Back. Sink through your hips. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Pulse it. Pulse, sink lower for four, three, two, Exhale, horse pose. Inhale, star pose. Bring your weight through heart center. Hinge forward from your hips. Parallel your back, your belly with your mat. Micro bend through your knees. You've got a bent over fly. Hunch your weight towards the ground, six inches apart. Inhale, lower. Exhale, pinch. Inhale, lower. Exhale, fly. Inhale, lower. Exhale, fly. Punch it down. Squeeze it back. In this posture, you have to lean forward. You have to lean forward. If you are standing upright, you're using your shoulders. You don't need your shoulders here. A million chaturangas. Hinge forward, pull with your back. Your back next to your glutes, super strong, super strong. We build our backs to create the illusion of a smaller waistline. It's a slide of hands thing. You get snacks. Those snacks turn into power for your back, not your waist. Everybody wins. Perspective, friends. <laughs> Bend through your knees just a little bit, just a little bit, so you can feel the stretch in your hamstrings. You're welcome. Come on, come on. We're almost to this side. Keep pinching. I sincerely hope, sincerely hope you have sweat dripping off your nose and landing in a puddle in front of you. God, I hope you do. If you're like, mm, not really, squeeze tighter. Better. Five more seconds. You get to pulse in three, two, pulse it at the top. Here we go. Squeeze it back, 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 back. Lower your gaze. Squeeze your belly up and in. Protect your lower back. Pinch it. I don't care where your elbows are, where your weights are. Squeeze your shoulder blades together on your spine. Pinch them up, 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 up. For five, last three, two, inhale, star pose. Bring your waist through center, all the way up. Now reach, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, exhale, shot around the pull, pivot, plant your weights. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Hinge forward, high plank. You've got spider climbers. You jump your right foot outside your right hand, then switch, 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 switch. Go as fast as you want to. It's like a wide mountain climber. It's a wide mountain climber. Call it what you want. Just keep moving. Feel your shoulders light up. Feel your obliques engage. Squeeze your obliques. Actually crunch your rib and hip close together to swing your leg out. Swing your leg out. Swing your leg out. This side. Right side. Left side. 
Yes, friends. Pull your belly up and in. The more engagement you get in your abdominals, the lighter you feel through your shoulders, the more buoyancy you get in your hips. And all of a sudden, hot damn, it's a core cardio exercise. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Keep on going. Come on. Good news. You will not face plant here. You will not face plant here. <laughs> tell yourself, tell yourself, repeated things to be grateful for. You've got it. And if you did, worst case scenario, you're so close to the ground, it doesn't matter. You're not going to get hurt. And nobody's watching. Let's go. Five. Last three. Faster. Two. Inhale, high plank. Hold, 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 hold. Let the shake come. Don't look at me like that. You've got this. You've got this. I'm here to remind you how strong you really are. Big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Woo! Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Grab your dumbbells, rocking horse. Plant them down. They're stilts only. They bring the ground closer to you. Tap your knee. Launch up. You tap. Standing splits. Tap. Stand it up. Rocking horse. Let's go. Sink. Push. Lower. Push. Tap. Heel back. Tap your heel to get low. This is what keeps you honest. Excuse me, your toe. Tap your toe. Push through your heel. So at the top, think standing splits. Squeeze your right butt cheek to raise your leg. Then lock out your leg. Press through your heel. This all distracts you from the fact that your left glute is the one we're burning out. It's like that slide of hands. Look over here. Look over here. This is dying. This is dying. It's not you. It's where we're going. Stay in the work. Let's go. Tap it, squeeze it back. Imagine, just imagine that like your bestie, your bestie's right behind you and they need like a five. All you have is a foot. All you have is a foot, but you are here for support, dang it. So give them a five with your foot, like a big one. Uh-huh. Five, I know, I know. Last three, two. Exhale, low lunge, low lunge. Grab your dumbbells. Bring them to heart center. Inhale, crescent lunge, but we're not going all the way up. Remember, 45 degree. Deadlift, upright row. Tap them. Pull. Tap. Pull. Tap. Pull. Tap it down. Squeeze it back. Again, remember, 45 degrees through my upper body. I do not break 45. Lean to tap and pull. Lean to tap. Pull. If you weren't sure if your left butt cheek was done in rocking horse, now you know. If you weren't sure if you could handle any more, one, now you know that you could. But two, now you know it could have gotten way worse. See how, like, soon we pull out of challenges, out of struggles? We sell ourselves short all the time. That stops right now. Lean into this. Yes, it hurts. Yes, it's shaking. Yes, it's cramping. Believe it or not, these are good things. This is the cost of change. This is what, like, it takes to grow you want to get stronger. You want to feel stronger. That comes right now. When you push through these barriers, these limits you create for yourself, instead of saying, oh my God, and focusing on my ass is shaking, it's on fire. Instead of think, man, I'm getting strong. That slide, that perspective, come on. And then all of a sudden you've got three more in you. You sure do. Last two. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, supinated bicep curl. Put your elbows in, face your palms towards your hips. Curl, face them in. Lower, face them in. Curl, face them in. Lower, face them in. Curl, face them in. You've got it. Inhale, lower, palms in. Exhale, curl, turn your pinkies in. Inhale, lower. Exhale, pull and curl. All right, guys, with the supinated curl, you just get to rotate. You just get to rotate through your strong freaking bicep. We're trying to hit our bicep at different angles. By bicep, bicep has two hands. Yeah, get them both. Yeah, get them both. So when you're curling, face your palms in, flex to bring them up, turn your pinkies in, palms out, lower down with control. Pull them up, squeeze and turn, lower down. So good. So good. This is a good time to crank your music and start tuning me out. Get in the work. Keep on squeezing your biceps. Okay, let's not forget. Let's not forget. Your legs are on fire. But the good news is we're out of your glutes and hamstrings, and now we're in your inner thigh and quad. Yes. Because we slide it around, friends. We move it around. We're not complete gluttons for punishment. 
all the things. We have to hit all the things in 45 minutes. That's not easy to do. That's why you feel like this. Keep pushing. Yes, it's hard. It's meant to be. You can do hard things. In fact, you are meant for hard things. So instead of being like, oh my God, it's awful. Oh my God, I am strong. Holy buckets, how privileged am I that I get to be in this moment. I'm in a safe place. I've got Wi-Fi. I get to sweat. I get to move. I have my health. Holy buckets, gang. Now all of a sudden, it's a cascade of things to be grateful for. Sink lower. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, horse, sink down, heels in, toes out. Get your booty in line with your knees. Here we go. What am I doing? Oh, it's an easy one. Low row, low row. Lift your front heel. It's your left. Punch them down, pull them back. Punch, pull back. Inhale, punch, exhale, pull. Punch it down, pull it back. Round your back, squeeze it. Round, squeeze, press down, pull back. You've got it. It's easy. It's easy, right? This is one of those exercises. I even call it the easy that you can skate through. Do not skate. Stay in this work. Actively press your weights down, round through your back, and then squeeze them back. Press. Pull. This is another one. The exercise alone isn't going to get you there. You have to engage. Like anything in life, you have to engage to get anything out of it. Let's go. Lower. Squeeze your heel higher. Oh. You guys are going to walk on the stairs kind of funny tomorrow. God willing. Pitch it tighter. Feel the burn. Feel the shake. That's change. Stay there. Last three. I'm on the wrong, I'm on the wrong exercise. <laughs> huh. Too chit-chatty. Last one. Exhale. Horse pose. Inhale. Star pose. Bring your waist to heart center. Hinge forward. Send your tailbone straight back. There we go. Bend a little bit in your knees to parallel your belly with your mat. You've got a wide arm row. Inhale, punch down, exhale, pull. Inhale, punch, exhale, pull. Punch it down. Round your back, pinch your shoulders. Round your back, pinch your shoulders. I want you to channel <laughs> your favorite WWE wrestling professional wrestler or a bodybuilder or whatever. And I want you to think about the crab. The crab. I mean, this is going to live on the internet. It's something like this, yeah. Find the crab and then squeeze back. The goal is to create a full range of motion. So by rounding your back, activating here, flare through your lats, and then squeeze. You just get more bang for your buck, and why not? You're already here doing the weird things. You're already sweating. You've already skipped whatever it is you skipped to be here. You've made a sacrifice. So show up. How it feels when we sacrifice our time for someone who shows up late or doesn't show up at all. Mm. Now, why would you do that to yourself? Why would you treat yourself in any way that you wouldn't treat others, yeah? That also includes grace. So if you're dying a little bit right here, it's okay. It's okay. Take a break when you need to take a break. But know that you're getting a lovely stretch in your hamstrings while you're going to work your beautiful back. Uh-huh. Ladies, especially ladies, because a lot of us are like, I don't see my back and I don't care. Yes, you do. This gets smaller. This gets wider. This gets smaller. This is an optical illusion. We will take it. Come on. Keep on rowing. You get to pulse in three, two, pulse it up. Pinch it. Pinch it. Pinch it. Again, I want you hinged forward. Extend through your spine. Your neck's an extension of it. Come on. Lengthen. Pinch. 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 Hinge forward, send your tailbone back. Four, three, two. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Pull, pivot, plant your weights. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Hinge forward, high plank, high plank. Jump feet forward, low jack. Plank. In and out, plank, in and out, plank, in and out, plank, in and out. Go, 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 stay low. Yeah, you stay low, you can go fast. Jump your feet to the edge of your hands, think half burpee, and then shove that out of your head immediately. 
completely. It's not a half burpee. It's not a half burpee. Tell yourself it's not a burpee. It's not a burpee at all. We're done with burpees. Go, 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 go. Yes. Plank, jump forward, in and out. Plank, jump forward, in and out. Squeeze your chest with a little pet dip, little pet deck. Low jack. Lower. Get your booty in line with your knees. Yes, friends. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Get some shoulder love here. I know. Eight seconds of this nonsense. Keep going. You're down to five. Last three. Two. Inhale, high plank. Hold, 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 hold. Stay here and shake. Let the shake happen. We are going to the shake point. When we get there, I'm asking you for more because you are worth this work. You are so freaking capable. You are so strong. This discomfort turns into benefit. Discomfort becomes benefit. It doesn't get easy because you get stronger. Your body will adjust, so it's still a challenge. It's still a challenge, but get your mind right. I get to be here. I am so freaking strong. I could hold this all day. Thank God I will not. Five, four, three, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Oh my God, so good. Take a few pedals. Big breath in. I know your shoulders are barking. <laughs> Exhale, let it go. Bend your knees, look forward. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Grab your dumbbells, bring them through heart center. Inhale, chair pose. Take your chair out wide. You've got heel clicks. Inhale, lower. Exhale, click. Sink it down. Click it. Sink. Click. Use the elbows. Click. Elbows and knees, yeah. Click. Elbows and knees. Click. So you get inner thighs here. We're still in our glutes and hammies because we get a squat. We get to squat. Lower. Click it. Lower. Click it. Lock out your leg. Actually flex. Press through your heel and then pull it in. All right, guys. I know. I'm going to get in trouble for this. I know that the thigh gap was having a moment. We all know that's bullshit, right? Even if it was like anatomically possible, it is not desirable. A thigh gap just ensures that you are more likely to drop your phone in the toilet. Nobody has time for that. Instead, I want you to channel thunder thighs. If ever there was a moment for thunder thighs, it's now. Take your strong legs, bounce them off each other, crash them off. And all of a sudden this exercise is different. Again, it's the exercise alone will not get you there. You could skate through this, but why would you? You've come this far. You didn't come this far to only come this far. Your name is going on this. Your pride. How you show up for yourself. This is your accountability. This is your time. This is your effort. So if you need a break, I'm saying you can take a break. But are you taking a break because you need one or because you would like one? Fair, but check in. Be honest. Now smash your thunder thighs together, dang it. Knock them in. So good. Crash them. They bounce. All of a sudden, your inner thighs are on fire. Keep going. You could pick up the pace. You sure could. This is cardio because it's big, you guys. Cardio is not just jumping, Jess. It's not just jumping. Bigger movements. Faster movements. Add the shoulder. Press in three. Well, it's shoulder raise two. Press it in. Lower. Raise, lower, bend through your elbows, lower, bend through your elbows, lower. You got it. Fly open. Lift them up. Lift them up. Lift them up. Yeah. All right. This is for the tops of your shoulders. So you want you to squeeze your boulder shoulder up and in, up and in. Think like a chicken. Maybe like you're going to fly away from this hot, awful moment. Come on. I know you're getting tired. You're getting windy. That's the point. We are so close to being done with this thing. So freaking close. Stay with me. Five more seconds. Last three. Two. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Oh, tricep kick ups this time. So flip your palms to face the ceiling. Your wrist rotation stays there. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press it up. Inhale to your hips. Exhale, press. Inhale to your hips. Exhale, press. Same thing as before. Elbows, glue them above your rib cage. Press it out to your hips. Press 
to your hips. Press to your hips. Recommit to your chair pose. Get low. Beautiful, my friends. Yeah. So I mentioned it was morning. Well, I'm filming this in the morning. Haven't had my coffee, so I'm a little rusty, right? Like, I'm not perfect either. I don't have my stuff figured out. So if you come to like class, or even an online class, you're like, man, these yogis have life figured out. No, we don't. And if they tell you they do, they are lying through their teeth. None of us have a clue. These are weird times. And we all have our Debbie Downer moments, right? Especially when things get hard. Not just in your workout. All the time. Everyday life. When you're trying to be a good employee working from home, but you're trying to be a good parent taking care of your kids from home. And your performance in either is like, meh, because you're stretched too thin. This will not last forever. You will get through this. And just know that this experience offers some nuggets of like hope, some opportunities, some moments with our kids we wouldn't have had otherwise. Maybe some boundaries to set at work that we wouldn't have otherwise. There's always something good to take away. Keep burning your triceps. The good thing here, friends, is whether you are in the studio or not, tank top season is upon us and your triceps to be popping. Yeah. For four, three, last two. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Ditch your dumbbells. Come onto your seat. Onto your seat. Lay on your back, find Sikha Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Allow your knees to splay open like a book. Inhale, your fingertips behind your ears. Splay your elbows wide. Inhale, tuck your tailbone under. Squeeze your lower belly. Exhale, lift your chest to the ceiling. Crunch. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Lead with your sternum. Lead with your chest. Keep space between your chin and your chest. We're so close. We're so close. Add your legs. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift them up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift them up. Come on, lower. Squeeze it. Lower. Squeeze it. Almost there. Come on. To the end, to the end. Nice and easy. Stay in your breath. Pull your belly up and in. Pull it up and into your rib cage. Even make everything tight. Squeeze to your midsection. So good. Last three. Two. Send your legs up the wall. Hip lifts for eight. Press them up. Exhale, press. Exhale, curl and press. Tuck your tailbone. Three. Two, last one, hug your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Allow both knees to fall to the left side for a supine twist. Glue your shoulder blades onto your mat as you stack your right hip over your left. Continue to breathe. Exhale. Inhale, slowly roll back through center, hug your knees and reset your spine. Allow them to fall to the right supine twist. Stack your left hip directly over your right. Plant, glue your shoulder blades down so you can feel the stretch in the middle of your back instead of your lower back. If you have any lower back sensation, you guys, take your heels away from your booty, your knees away from your chest. There we go. Exhale. Inhale slowly back through center. Give yourself a huge, huge hug and release to your Shavasana. I'll pull you out in just a moment.
slowly. Begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Inhale your arms overhead, one last stretch. Exhale, roll to your right side, supported fetal position. Rest your head on your bicep, pull your knees into your chest. And take this moment to appreciate all the hard work you've just put in. Know that it doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to happen. And also, whether you believe in the law of attraction, that what you throw out into the world you get back, kind of like karma, or you just think, whatever, lady, that's hippy-dippy weird stuff, and you just find what you're looking for. Like, if I, you know, I'm thinking this, of course I'm going to notice these things. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which camp you live in, which, which school you're in. It's the same result, right? When you are complaining repeatedly, you will find more things to complain, to whine, to be upset about. It's like those negative Nancys in our lives. God, we all have them. God bless them. They need some help. But like they're, they're a tornado, right? <laughs> and they suck you in with them. Be the ray of sunshine. Be the Susie sunshine, right? I'm not saying ignore the things that are hard. I'm saying acknowledge them, complain about them briefly. Do not stay there. You have so much to be grateful for. You are so loved and supported and blessed. And don't forget that. Life gets hard and you're human and that's okay. But you have so much on your side and so much going for you already. When you're ready, slowly press up to a comfortable seated position. Inhale your arms overhead. One last stretch. Exhale your hands into your heart center. You, my friends, are so freaking strong. You are worthy. You are enough. And you are more than capable. We seal our practice with namaste. So good to have you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Go wash your hands and have a fabulous one. Mwah.